What's up YouTube? It's Johnny with Johnny's BMW DIYs. Got all kinds of great new content coming out. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see when I post new videos in your inbox. Something I've been experimenting with uh, on my spare headlight. One that uh, kind of screwed up on the inside. The uh, chrome piece uh, around the projector headlight uh, just fell off. Anyway... I uh, got a, I had a replacement one, a used one, and uh, swapped everything out, and uh, everything's good there. But I have this one to work with, and I really want to uh, get rid of these older Angel Eye setup uh, because it's kind of dim. Even though I put LED in there, they're they're not even. One works real nice, real bright. The other one is kind of dim. Even though the contrast between the two is kind of cool, I really want it to be even between the two. So, here's what I've done. There's some videos on YouTube on how to uh, get your lens off. Alright, I got the lens off. Not easy. It took about... They say it takes, you know, um, hours and hours. It took me an hour and about 15 minutes. Okay. And with a heat gun, of course, I didn't start with a heat gun because I had to do, basically, cut that upper lip off all the way around the top. And uh, make sure you wear eye protection. Uh, a Dremel works fine with a little cutoff wheel. Uh, mine actually was not working out. My I have a Dremel here. Tried it, and uh, unfortunately, my cutoff wheel broke, and I ended up using that one. <laughs> Little overkill. Had to be real careful. I wouldn't recommend using an air tool, but that's what I used, and maybe that's why I got done faster, because it is very aggressive. Um, anyway, now my goal is, so I've cleaned these two up. I really want, well, what I'm getting at is I am putting these in here. I'm going to turn on, turn them on. Boom. They're not perfectly in place where I'm on them, but you get the idea. So I've got those in place. Um, I want the interior black this I want to be black I've prepped this with some uh, wax and tar remover just to get everything off of it here I go brand new lens it's gonna look brand new it's gonna make the face of the car look brand new so all right well I will uh, get these painted up Okay, so on this plug here, I decided to de-pin it so that I can slide heat shrink because the wires look fine, it's just the housing. So I don't want to cut the wires so I can put heat shrink over them. So um, carefully pried this off. See right there, it hooks in. You just use the little screwdriver right here, pry it up. That way you can push the pin in right on the first area here pull the wire out then it gets stuck here you can push down there pull the wire back out once you get the wire out you want to bend that barb back up for reinstallation but I do I would recommend doing one wire at a time looks like I have one two the green one that I've already depinned Okay, I'm getting ready to do that one. Uh, this whole length of, of ground wire, this end of it and this. And uh, I saw some real small breaks 
like here that I'm going to repair. I'm blessed that it's only a few wires because this would take a really long time. But uh, that's what I'm going to do. D-pin wherever I can so I can slide heat shrink over top and uh, make it look as nice as possible. Okay, I'm pretty happy with what I've got. So, price you pay for vanity. I went ahead and pulled the whole harness out because I want to really clean the interior of this thing. Um, of course, I'm going to blow it out one more time before I put it really together. I'm going to clean this thing out with uh, very carefully. I will not touch any of the chrome. I'm just going to use my uh, air compressor. I'm going to blow a bunch of this uh, dust out uh, and shrapnel and maybe wipe the bottom of the housing out with a microfiber to get any leftover dust. Okay, I've gotten to the point where I've almost got these just the way I want them. There's a couple of flaws in them that I'm going to sand out put one more last coat on. I've gone with a flat black. It's an experiment. I may turn it, change my mind and go to a like a, a semi-gloss black, you know, something that's a little bit more reflective. But then again, maybe not. Um, what was there obviously was a gray metallic. It was a little glossy. Um, I think this looks kind of cool though. So uh, I guess one more thing. I'm going to uh, pop this lens very carefully. There's some tabs holding it in. I'm going to clean it up. It looks like it's dusty front and back. And uh, this, I got brand new lenses. Um, they're, I'll uh, put a link in the description for where I bought them. Uh, so I'm going to have crystal clear lenses and uh, these new cool looking angel eyes. And uh, I want to have a nice clean projector. Uh, lens so that um, there's you, when you're going to be able to see into this headlight really well because of the brand new lens. Uh, so it doesn't, I don't want it to look old at all on the inside. So I'm going to get to cleaning that up. And of course, I've got my uh, nicely repaired wiring harness, I'm very confident in that. So even though I can't see the wire covers or colors, um, it won't really matter because I may do them one at a time, plug them right back where they need to go. Can't put the plugs in the wrong way. So, and if I have to, I can pull these back a little bit and see the color underneath there if I need it. So, I mean, this is before pretty lame, gonna cause a fire or something's gonna malfunction. And this is after. So this should serve me for a really long time. I'm gonna do the rest of these here and slap this sucker back in and have my new custom headlight working perfect. What a difference. Didn't do that little blue guy because uh, even if the covering comes off of it, which it's in good shape, shouldn't touch anything else. I push the heat shrink all the way down. It's kind of hard to see, but I push the heat shrink all the way down to where they cannot touch each other. And then I added an extra piece on the ends here. So after I got them in, I push the heat shrink all the way down and uh, just heat it up over there. 
So this is definitely going to be reliable. I popped the lens, the projector lens out and uh, cleaned it with some ammonia-free uh, Windex kind of type of cleaner. I've uh, snapped the eyebrow, so to speak, uh, back on. Of course, that I painted that black because I don't want to put external ones on there. I don't want those kind of yellowy, creamy ones in there either. So this is the flat black motif. I think I might stick with it. It looks pretty cool. Next step is to put it in this new lens. Uh, you want to tuck in the corner and then carefully push in all these points to the little, you know, there's one there and one there. The small one's a guide pin. It's fragile on the lens, so you want to be careful. Just uh, take your time and wiggle it in there. Got it snapped into place, you know, again, put that corner in first. And you have to kind of push towards it and weasel it in there. This is, again, as much as you want to, do not polish up this chrome it is gonna just rub off it's you cannot even you don't even want to touch it i've got gloves on you don't want any fingerprints and as much as you want to polish it up um, don't do it all i got to say is wow that looks nice let's check it out Uh, inside looks real nice. I don't know. Definitely going to be running the uh, the white ones. But you can see from the side, real nice depth. Love that look. Um, from a distance. Yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, you can still look at them. They're not blinding. And uh, I'm going to put a link in the description from where I bought them. So that you guys, if you want to dive into this, it's going to be a really nice looking headlight. A lot of work though. <laughs> ugly right now but uh i took my little dremel kit i got all kinds of little tools this is taking a lot of time so if you guys do this just know it just takes a long time uh you could probably knock it all out in a day you know but it's going to take a day it should doll up a little bit so it'll match the rest of the headlight So got the bl black bezel on the inside now. Got the angel eyes in. Don't have the rest of the guts in the light yet. And I don't have the lens glued on yet. But what I did was I uh, I took a bunch of time because this area is visible. Still looks a little ugly uh, with all this bright light on it because I did spray it with uh, kind of glossy black paint. But the inside of that lip, um, I'm going to have you know, the lens all the way up against. And then I'm going to have a bead of uh, sealant along here. But yeah, that, that looks real nice right there, man. I uh, did the flat black. Real happy with the, the look because it's going to break it up. It's not going to change the shape of my hood. Because if it was just gloss black, it looked like, uh, you know, at first glance that that was the edge of my hood changes the shape of the headlight so um you know i got a built-in eyebrow now so to speak and it doesn't look old the other one looked all creamy and sun faded so i'm super stoked i'm gonna uh probably buy another headlight so that i can sell my old ones complete 
uh, see if I can find another one with a broken lens or something I can use as a shell to make my other one. So my second headlight is taken apart. Uh, same process. I used a Dremel the whole time on this one. Much cleaner job. Recommend using only a Dremel. I used this uh, little attachment, little saw blades, almost uh, small enough, a, no chance of cutting into the actual shell uh, when getting it all off. And blew the dust off of these after sanding them and to get a little key for the paint. And I'm uh, going to use a little uh, wax and tar remover as a prep. Uh, I do want to use a like a tack cloth or something uh, that has no lint if you want to be perfect about it. Got a fairly clean environment here, so I won't have a lot of dust. And uh, But anyway, I'm going to wipe these down, make sure there's no, in this piece too under here, uh, make sure there's no uh, hand oil or anything like that. It'll keep the paint from paint uh, to stick into it nicely. Uh, so I'm going to prep that and then paint them up. I'm using the uh, Rust-Oleum Wax and Tar Remover. Uh, that works well to prep it for paint. So uh, uh, if you wanna choose this particular uh, item, I'll put a link in the description. What I've had to do, a little reflection there, uh, was to keep the Angel Eye from touching the lens. This isn't a perfect adjustment yet, but I can, I've got the solution. Uh, it literally has to tuck underneath the eyebrow. You have to flex the bottom a bit to squeeze it in there. Because if it's behind it, it's going to touch the lens uh, casing around the outside. And when it moves, it's going to just pop the angel eye off or it's going to be in a bind and screw up all the gears. thing needs to free flow so it cannot be attached to it. This particular one cannot. Uh, if you get a different style angel eye, you may be able to uh, attach it to it. Uh, but this is a good solution. Sorry about the reflection there. That's probably a little better if I tilt it down. I'm going to get it nice and flat in that surface. I just have a little pieces of double-sided tape. Uh, this is a mock-up, obviously. I uh, will be putting some uh, clear hot glue on the bottom there. It'll be in a bind up at the top, but I'll probably put a small dab up there just behind it. And uh, so this basically is going to go on with the lens. See? So as I put the lens on, I'm going to have to fish that wire through to where it's going to go. Then I'll put in my sealant and I'm going to use a couple of dabs of glue in a couple of corners to make sure that it stays in place. But I'm using butyl tape all the way around for the rest of it. After a lot of trial and error, test fitting, you know, with double-sided tape, got it in place. Sorry, it's a little dark there. Uh, little hot glue. It's kind of pinched in place. Okay, I'm just using some uh, butyl tape, I believe that's what they call it. Uh, stretched out uh, what I had kind of to make it a little thinner because uh, that's kind of thick. Just one, made one continuous uh, bead all the way around. All right, I've got it assembled. Got the lens on with butyl tape, and it's really on there darn tight, but uh, still I'm going to have a few spots where I'm going to just dab a bit of epoxy that I'll easily be able to cut. Okay, I have all the angel eyes glued in place. Uh, just have the bezel setting in there uh, so that I could make sure they're on the same plane. I use these up and down lines and square piece of metal to uh, make a nice right angle. 
So the rest of the headlights really throws you off. So that's what I'm using for my up and down point to make sure that they're level with each other. Uh, this one I've got uh, the bezel out because I've got it in the new lens, which I'm keeping the plastic on until uh, I get it in the car. I don't want to scratch it. Uh, so I'm going to pop this one together and then pop that one together and then I'm going to install them. Okay, I'm going to blow this headlight out for a seal in any dust. As you can see, uh, I've got the angel eye uh, mounted to the bezel with hot glue from the back side. It looks a little ugly, but you can't really see it from the front. But I also need to, uh, and since I needed to do that, because I couldn't put it on this lens here because it moves. So I didn't want something glued on it and then it just getting in a bind or whatever. So it had to go on the bezel, put it on the bezel. As I'm put this on, I'm going to fish this wire through up above this and uh, get it paired up with the other one in the back. So uh, just make sure that you route that through as you're trying to put your lens on. Again, leave the plastic on. Okay, so I have both headlights built, except for the bulbs that I'm going to steal out of the other one. And a tab that I'm going to repair on this one. I have the whole piece and it fits perfect. So um, I'm going to wait till it's on the car for that. Because the nut that sets it in place will hold it while it's drying. Anyway, um, now I need to get the bumper off the car and get the old headlights out, rob what I need out of them headlight bulb wise and uh, install these guys. So first light up and I uh, know it's a little bit hard to see because they're real bright. There's a good shot. It's like the flickering. But as you can see they're real uh, Real nice and bright white light. I have LEDs, uh, or real uh, bright uh, HIDs rather. So uh, it goes together real well. And of course, painted the interior black and the eyebrow internally. Uh, it's internal, uh, painted it black as well. Uh, instead of putting an eyebrow over all this, uh, I'm covering up my side uh, As usual, thanks very much for tuning in. Uh, please hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. Really appreciate your support. Definitely look in the description for links to the tools and products that I used 
and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Have a great one.